Good morning and welcome to day 11 of the Serving Challenge here at Ascension Lutheran Church in Citrus Heights. I'm Pastor Scott coming to you on this Monday morning. I hope you had a nice weekend, um, Monday mornings. For those of us who are still working, um, can sometimes be a grind. I hope this serves as a bit of encouragement for you for today and for the coming week. We're nearing the end of our focus on the first aspect being attitude. Tomorrow will be um, our last day on attitude. We're over a quarter of a way through our 40 days. So um, if you've stayed current uh, with your readings and these videos, congratulations. Um, we've stayed current because we're still here and uh, uh, if you're not seeing this video, then you'll know that we've somehow fallen behind, I guess, or you won't know. Anyway, however that works out. It's good to be together on this Monday morning and focusing today on the most overlooked Bible verse according to Pastor Zach. And that actually is comes from Luke 15. And his contention is that prior to Jesus um, telling a, three parables in Luke chapter 15, Jesus reminds us, and we often overlook the fact that he is speaking to the sinners and tax collectors as he tells a parable of uh, two parables of lostness um, and what we would seek after if we've lost a sheep and if we've lost a, a coin, um, what, to what extents we would go to to recover those lost items. And then the story of the, the prodigal son and um, really uh, Pastor Zach's contention, and I think he's right, is that we misunderstand that parable to, to think that the, the, that younger son who asks for his inheritance um, is lost like the sheep or the coin. And actually, prodigal doesn't mean to be lost. We could certainly say that for a time that son is lost. He's gone away from his father. Um, but really what he has done is he has spent recklessly. He has lived recklessly. He has spent with reckless abandon without counting up the cost um, as he asked for his father's inheritance. And in the, the parable, again, it's a parable. It's not a real story. I mean, it's a story that was really told, but it's, it isn't an account of something that actually happened. But Jesus tried to illustrate a, a point. And I think the point there is really, as we look at the father in that story, a father's love for his sons, um, and meeting each of them and loving them in the way that uh, they want to and need to be loved. He loves the older son by continuing to dwell with him, live with him, work with him, spend his time with him, which really is what he thinks is the best thing. So that even when the younger son comes back, having spent all of his inheritance and begs his father to take him back in, um, the older son gets angry and says, how could you throw him a party? You've never thrown me a party. Um, as if his life was horrible. And the father says, what do you mean? You've been here with me the whole time. As if that were the better thing all along. That really just being together is what was, is really the joy and the desire. Certainly it was for the father. And me, maybe even the older son didn't understand that. And now the younger son who has gone off and lived seeking after the pleasures of the world and finds that in fact they, they hold nothing um, can see that really even just being a servant on his father's farm, being in his father's presence is far better than any of those other things that he went out to do. So Pastor Zach contends um, or holds up this, this notion um, that he gets from, I think it was Eugene Peterson, that you know, really what we have is a prodigal God, a God who gives us recklessly, loves us recklessly as if, um, there were no end to the amount of love that God would give, not expecting anything in return, but blowing it all, blowing it all on us, just as that younger son blew his inheritance um, with nothing to show in return. God loves us recklessly, maybe expecting nothing in return, and then is pleased when we, like the younger son, um, come back and say, we want to be with you. We want to serve with you. We want to serve like you. That's the challenge for today, is to serve like we have been served by God, to, to love like the Father has loved both of his sons in that parable of the prodigal son. 
I hope those words are encouraging to you on this Monday morning, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for the last day, looking at attitude, the attitude aspect, um, day 12 of the uh, Serving Challenge. Take care.